Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to the Roguelike Roulette. It's been a while, uh, mainly because Gungeon. It's always Gungeon. Like, it rolls up on the roulette, I play it for a little while, and I'm like, man, I just don't, I can't get into this game. Uh, let's see. Oh, I should probably check. There's probably one game on this list that I have not added yet. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna add one more to the Roguelike Roulette, and then we'll give it a spin. Uh, I've totally... Completely forgotten which game it is. It's the one that just had a DLC out and has suddenly immediately skipped my brain. Why am I bad at these things? All right, it was Monolith. I totally forgot the name. I know Dead Cells is getting a, a DLC soon and there's a couple other things that we can roll with. Uh, but for now, this is going to be the roguelike roulette. Uh, and we'll switch it around. So. I guess let's just give it a spin and figure it out. I'm not in the most... My headspace is dumb, but that's okay. Wow. Uh... Wizard of Legend! You know, speaking of other roguelikes that got a DLC, an update recently, Wizard of Legend is actually one of those games that I had just kind of taken off my list for a while, because... I didn't have a whole lot of proclivity to play it again. The problem is the bosses and whatnot. It gets kind of repetitive. But, if the roguelike roulette says, play Wizard of Legend, then play Wizard of Legend I shall. So, I've definitely removed a couple of random roguelikes. I've pared it down to mainly the roguelikes that I'm interested in. It'll kind of come and go, but I think most future roguelikes will either stay off the roulette or only get added if I really, really like them and then otherwise just be added as part of, like, the indie game lightning round. Okay, so for starters, let's turn off the Kingdom soundtrack and let's turn Wizard of Legend on. And let's see. Let's make sure that isn't too loud. Yep. It's not terribly loud, but still. Okay. So, Wizard of Legend, haven't played in a while, they added a Thunder DLC, so I guess first and foremost, I got a lot of crystals, let's let's go outside, <clears throat> Close, uh, clear my voice a little bit, let's go outside and just buy as many of these as we possibly can, actually let's buy all the signature ones first, those are the ones that kind of determine the run, ooh, this is a lot of signatures, holy shit, oh okay, now we've cleared it out, cool. I'm not being particularly discriminatory in terms of the spells. And we've bought them all. Hell yeah. I love having a bunch of spared gems sitting around. So now, let's take a look at the book. Because, uh, okay. So we've got Obsidian Splitter. We've got a new dash. I'm just going to take a look at a lot of these. And we'll figure it out accordingly. I'm so glad. Inferno Beam. Pair of crisscrossing fire beams that damage and burn enemies. Neat. So slow, big, really big coverage. And then bubbles. Actually, these bubbles are pretty good. Okay. Beams. The beams seem okay. I'm 90% certain I had... I had the uh, the bird equipped before I switched to Inferno Beam. Okay, so Wind Flurry got added. So this is a normal Wind Flurry. So it looks like it gets a ricochet effect. We're just going to switch between a couple of these. Uh, let's see. Hold the button for the axe, it charges. Oh. Good. That's pretty good. Base damage on that is really nice. Get some basic uh, attack speed on that, and it could, could, could be really fun. Uh, let's see. Volt Tracer. I'm just going to keep cycling between these until we've seen all of the new spells, and then we'll figure it out. I swear I've seen Flame Seekers before. Nope, I most certainly have not. Those don't seem terrible. So it looks like the Volt, Volt 1 just leaves, like, a uh, after image behind. Ooh, that's good. Also one that you want to hold up a little bit, because it, it drops some orbs around as well. That'll be fine. Uh, let's see. Crossblade. 
Entangling Vines. Uh, let's see, do we have any other new fire spells? We should. It's saying we do. It's also a damn dirty liar. Okay, Fading Petal. Oh, Fading Petal. Okay, any other new wind moves? Doesn't look like it. Prickly Ballet. Oh, that looks fun. Hello! Meet my cactus friend. <laughs> that's not what I was expecting. Okay, so that's, that's a really good one for pulling enemies close. So that pulls everybody in, does a bunch of does a bunch of damage. Yeah, I apologize that we're not gonna immediately get into this run. I just I haven't played this game in a long time, and they added a whole bunch of new spells, and it would be remiss of me not to try out every single one first, just so I kinda know what I'm dealing with. Oh right, I actually haven't tested out the frost blades. Did they add Charging on a lot of these. Okay. Oh. That's interesting. So Stone Seekers just summon little bouncy bouncy buddies. So is there a cooldown on these? Because it doesn't or a cooldown. Is there a duration on the Yeah, there's a duration on the axes. Okay. Well what about big axes? It is go bananas. And Sure, that's fine. Is Axe just an element now? It certainly feels like it. Okay, Prickly Ballet. Doesn't look like we've got anything else new there. There should be a bunch of new lightning things. Dragon Circuit, that looks fun. Magma Flush. Severing Slash. Interesting. It seems like there's a weird combo on a lot of these. Alright, so Dragon Circuit seems to pass between nearby available enemies. And Prickly Ballet! It's a whole party. Cool. What else have we got? Thunder Seekers. So there's a whole lineup of new Seeker type spells. Thunder Drop got. So this is normal Thunder Drop. It's okay. That's pretty good. And then Thunder Seekers, we pretty much know and understand. That's Magma Drop. Okay. It's not bad, so it acts as a mine, but eventually explodes on its own anyway. Okay, no more lightning spells. Seriously? Where's the new wind spell that it's telling me about? Oh, just Vacuum Seekers. Calming Flow. I'll take a look at that in a second. We had... Oh, Dragon Circuit. Okay, so what does Calming Flow even do? Every last hit of your basic arcana lowers all cooldowns. Hmm. That's pretty good. So it doesn't look like the fire yo-yos have a charge. Yeah, it doesn't have a charge, so you, you want to just go bananas with the fire yo-yos. I like the yo-yos. Those seem pretty dang good. What else do we have? Frost Scimitar. And Frost Scimitar. Well. That's Frost Scimitar. That's not bad. A lot of weapon-based abilities. A lot of things that pull enemies closer to you, too. Okay, Aqua Breaker, which... I've used this before. You charge it up, does a bunch of damage. Pretty good. Damn. Okay, so we also have Inferno Beam and Dragon Arc. Dragon Arc is, is an oldie but goodie. I swear I've seen that one at this point, but I guess not. Okay. Um, whoop. Nope, wrong one. Inferno Beam. It's a downright light show. 
I like the light show. Honestly, looking at this now, let's switch out Magma, Magma Rush, probably. I like Volt Tracer. Let's try this. Uh, and what item? What item, what robe are we going to do? So, decreases max health, adds health regen. Fall was really good. But I don't remember it that well. Venture is just downright scary. Oh, we actually have some new ones. That's good. I guess let's do Awe. Awe is always useful. Okay, defense. I don't remember a damn thing. So what's this one? Burst of wind when taking damage that stuns nearby enemies. Hmm. Health for all summon arcana. Okay. So we could just do gloves of Mida. Mida's right off the bat. More money! Let's see, Fury is your favorite new robe. I'll have to see what it does. I think it would be up here. So level. Increases max health, decreases damage, decreases signature charge. Avarice. Gold and gem gain. Oh, so Fury is not a new one. It's an old one. Which one's Fury? Fury. So, signature, charge, and damage. Sure, let's give it a go. I actually don't remember this one. I'm not sure where I got that. Well, that's okay. Onwards! I believe in myself. And there's the lightning boss as the last one. Well, this is going to go weird. I haven't seen this game in a while. Well, that's the point of the roguelike roulette. It brings back roguelikes that I don't normally play. Oh, it's going to take me a while before I'm used to a lot of this. Wow, that... Okay, that, that signature charge is, no joke, really good. Okay, so we can enhance a couple of things. Eh. I'll leave that for later. We're poor and we get plenty of spells just by existing anyway. See, the lightning bosses are two people. Oh, they might be. Okay, chest has. Chest has. Money! It's always got money in it. Ow, ow, ow. Bap, snap. Ugh, taking damage. A lot more than I'd like, but that's okay. We heal from that. That works. Yeah, we've got some good ranged hits. Very good stuns attached to them. Health orbs drop fa more often. Uh, let's see, summon related stuff. Doki the Banker, appearing Chaos Trials. I don't remember that the Banker is any good. I know the Raspberry Cookie Box is decent. It's not, it's not something that I'm gonna go out of my way for. Avoid those. Coward tactics don't work nearly that well. I hope you'll like a fire laser show. Because that's what I got for you today. Nope. Oh, and that's gone. Okay, so what is this? I don't remember. Mystic Monopole. Yep. Don't remember what that one does. Whoops. Can't stun that guy. I can kind of stun him, but still. Anyway, so, uh, I should probably explain, because I actually haven't put an episode on the Roguelike Roulette in a while. Uh, I think this is going to be one of those series. I'm going to change it a little bit. Originally, what I did uh, with the Roguelike Roulette was I'd roll the roulette and then play Roguelike for like a week or two. I think I might do it slightly whimsically. And I think that's always going to be a better way for me to do things. Any Ow! Of enemies evading is just going to be kind of jerks. Okay, what does he have? 
Armor defense. Deal double damage, receive double damage. Double double trouble? Double trouble. Double trouble seems like a terrible idea. Ah, eh, screw it. Double trouble. Terrible ideas, I'm sure. But that's fine. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm going to load this game up for tonight. And if we want to play more, more Wizard of Legend, I'll just do it. And if not, I'll just ro roll the roguelike roulette again. Uh, I just... One of my biggest uh, issues running a channel is, to some degree, I get a little bogged down with games. Or if I, like, end up playing a game that I don't like, it kind of throws me off really hard. And... It's... It's something that I've always kind of struggled with, because I feel bad when I don't finish a game, but I don't necessarily always want to finish stuff, because it's not always... Not every game is meant to be finished to begin with. And so, we're going to play this for at least a couple couple runs, for sure. Probably until my hands give out, because this is one of those games. Uh, let's see, how much money? Oof, that's expensive. I guess let's, let's do the mid-boss before we do too much else. Probably kill him, actually. Okay. Not quite a big fan of the, uh... The beams. The problem with the beams is I don't hit with them as nearly as much as I like, but that's okay. Oh, uh, let's see. So I got some amount of money, some amount of gems. Let's go back to the spell vendor. I don't really want Earth Stomp Agent... I don't really think I want any of those. So let's skip that. Uh, let's see. And we already got the thing from the deal with the devil one. Perfect. Also, thank you Lost129 for the 16 month resub. Thank you. But yeah, so I get bogged down. Usually what kills the roguelike roulette for me, to be totally honest, is straight up enter the gungeon. I just, I don't like that game. And I've never quite figured out why. There's a lot that probably goes into just my preferences. I just don't think I do particularly well with bullet hells. I do better with this kind of game, as weird as that sounds. Because this this is honestly maybe more frenetic, but it's easier for me to go around. There's a lot more, like, scum cheese that goes into kind of a build in this game. And that actually accounts for quite a lot. And there's so many different pl so many different toys that I can play around with, and maybe that's actually specifically... This is just going to become Wanderbot airs grievances about Gungeon. Oh, 70 damage. Oh. Okay, uh... But yeah, one of my biggest issues specifically with Gungeon is just that, like, half the guns just don't feel very good, and then you run out of ammo for the ones that you do like. And then it's just kind of like, ah, oh, shoot, now what do I do? With this game, I've always really appreciated that every spell has its place in a build. You can't just say, like, this is, uh, this spell is just bad. Okay, there are a couple that are just kind of terrible, but a lot of them are just super good in very specific situations. And once you find those situations, the whole build shines. Ow. Well, I'm doing fine so far, actually. Like, you are correct. There are, there are trash, trash to your spells. You can't have this many spells in a video game and not have some of them just be horrid. But, oh, 50 damage. But it is a testament to balance and design that the developers managed to make something uh, this well made. <laughs> With so many viable options that don't just immediately blow. Gravity is the real boss, though. God! Like, it's sometimes super likely that I'm going to take more damage from falling than I am from actually fighting. It's just normal for me, I guess. I don't know. It varies. 
Vengeance trash tier guns usually have godlike synergies, though. Yeah, but you have to get to that point, and that's that's always been like my beef is that I don't quite have the patience to get to that point, and also I'm not very good at avoiding bullets in the same way that I can just like dodge roll through stuff. In this game, for example, we are not. This is not really a particularly. Uh, This is not a particularly melee-heavy run, which is weird for me. does mean we need some more spells, though, because I'm running with a uh, half-functional tool toolbox, and it's a bit of an issue. Okay. Probably want to grab Vampire Fangs. Yeah, Vampire Fangs sounds pretty good. Would you recommend this roguelike to people? Yes, with one, exam uh, with one caveat. If you, have, uh, if you have hand issues, this one might not be so hot. Otherwise, it's just dang good. So, automatically enhances basic arcana. That's a good one. Giant's Heart might be okay. That's like 30 extra HP. I'm just going to grab both. We'll figure it out. Oh, the automatically enhances your question. How do I... There we go. So, that makes my fire yo-yo yo upgraded. Not quite that great. I don't want to use up my inventory space on it, but we already did, so it's not the end of the world. There we go. So what do you got for me? A lot of health. Thank you, lot of health. Admittedly, it's not quite as good as it, uh, it, ah, as it would have been since we'd spent a lot of it on max health. Uh, we're at 100%? Yeah. Boss time! Let's see. Have you ever thought of getting into Crypt of the Necrodancer? I have, and I've tried it. It's a great game, but commentating it over commentating over Crypt of the Necrodancer is actually really really difficult. Be a shame for you to come this far and joke under pressure. Throw caution to the wind and give me your all. Yup. Okay. Leave the fire on him. There we go. We're good. Sailing against the wind, are you? Then catch your breath while you can, for turbulent times lie ahead. Yay. The only problem... Hello. Magsphere. Eh, Magsphere is good. Good enough. Uh, the only problem with the vampire fangs that I have... I'm going to be super scatterbrained, by the way. This this is one of those games that I absolutely adore, but it's it takes enough focus out of me, especially when I haven't played in a while, that I'm not necessarily going to be uh, peak Wanderbot through this. Man, it's been a while since I've said that phrase within the context of this game. But that's okay. Uh, but yeah, overall, I'd still highly recommend this. This is this is one of my favorite roguelikes to come out of, what was it, 2017? There's just something really special about the various, uh, various spells and abilities that you can pick up along the way. And just how ridiculous things get if you've got, like, a peak beam build or a super summon build or something like that. Plus, you can play a co-op, for better or worse. Shoot. And that, in and of itself, is a lot of fun. Oops. Yep. There we go. Any more toys? Question. Before we go too far, what does Magsphere do? Pull all nearby projectiles into orbit around you. Oh, that's what it does. Oh, that's the boss. We want to avoid the boss for a second. There he goes. I wonder if I could have actually captured the boss projectiles there. Pro probably? Probably. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Even months, years later, I will still be doing that forever. It's just base. Baseline always going to happen. 
Okay, just going to avoid those for a second. Okay, so it does not grab every projectile. It only just... Yeah, okay. Magsphere... <sighs> Magsphere's got uses. I'm just not sure about there. So those pits were just slightly more forgiving. That didn't work. I was like, maybe enemies? Maybe enemies. No enemies. There we go. Right. They take less damage. Hi! Wait. Magsphere is just pointless here. Ow. Big enemies. So, I guess we might as well talk about my build a little bit. So, I'm really liking the Thunder Dragons. I'm a big fan of set it and forget it abilities in this game. Uh, ones that I can just kind of let go, and then I don't have to think about them, they don't lock me in place. And they don't inconvenience me in some specific way or another. Uh, Magsphere, definitely set it and forget it, but mostly situational and debat debatably useful. Chance of reviving... Oh, receiving critical heals. Damage dealt with it when at full health. Resistance to fire-based attacks. Uh, reduced time required to fully charge any basic arcana with a charge final attack. It's... it's okay. But yeah, not a big fan of my finisher here. The fire beams are great, but they lock me in place. And while you can animation cancel out of that, uh, I still prefer to be able to, like, set those and then run away and do some other stuff. I don't know. I... This game does not generally benefit you if you're standing in one place for even, like, a second. And so, yeah, it's probably gonna... It's probably gonna drop to my lower tier. Hi. Donate an Arcana. Sure. No, Dragon Circuit. But we get the Elixir of Might? What does that do? Alright, sure. I regret. Well, do we want to grab... Tomahawk. Frost Fan. We should probably grab Tomahawk. I was really hoping it would take Magsphere. It didn't. Well, such is life. Plus, they do a decent amount of damage. Problem is, can't use them simultaneously with anything else, which is a little worse, but eh. Let's see. Oh, yeah, those dragons were super good. We're probably going to die. That's... I, that should honestly be expected whenever I, like, come back to a roguelike that I haven't played in a while. Okay. Dig in the Tomahawks. It'd be interesting to do either, like, a really hefty... Well, they don't work via charge. They do a lot of damage, though. I guess a lot of spells do a lot of damage. Including my basic attack, I guess, so... Axes are... that's uh, okay. Bep. Ow! That's hurty. Is there any reason to have come up here? The answer is no. Hello, what do you have for me? Basic art kind of have an extra combo? That's not bad. Movement speed every time an arcana is used. Three attacks. Let's grab combo gloves. Now that I've kind of lost my dragon move, my best damage is actually just purely through my, my basic arcana. And I should probably make the most of that. I was going to say, it feels like I'm getting a lot more money than usual, but... I know exactly why I'm making a lot more money than usual. Oh, I bounce, bouncing bubble! Bouncing bubble it is! A bouncing Bubble is one of those that I will rather 
rather appreciate using. And you know what? Max Veer actually has benefits. We'll have to try it against the boss before I just chuck it. Because it might actually be decent. Uh, let's see. Fading Petal? It's okay. Field Berserk is always good. Oh, seeing as I've got it. Uh, let's see. Field Berserk. Switch that out for probably Tomahawks. The nice part about Fuel Berserk is it pretty much guarantees a signature charge. There we go. I'll take what I can get. So, back here. Nope, damn it. It always happens. There we go. That's good stuff. This, this... This is getting closer to a good combo. Yeah, let's just use Fuel Berserk to kill the, uh... Kill the melee guys while the, uh... While Magsphere keeps all the projectiles off. I don't know. I, I might have to... Ooh. Do we sell a relic? We could. I got a lot of money, so I'm not really sure if I need this guy. I got I got more money than I know what to do with, honestly. Let's let's go back here. Let's upgrade my my dash. I'm not actually sure what the upgraded version of said dash does. Maybe, maybe it gives me a third charge. We'll see. Let's see, first time seeing you stream. Good luck with your run. Thank you. Yeah, I well actually luck luck will be appreciated. It's been a while since I played this game. Okay. Okay, that hurts. Okay. Does not work. Does not work against, um... Uh... Ow. And I'm dead. <laughs> Ah, that's where I need the luck. This, she is probably the boss. She and the fire boss are definitely my weakest. But we lost my really good spell against her. So, uh, first things first, we might as well go with the obvious of, I'm going to put Dragon Circuit as my, my standard. Because Dragon Circuit was dang good. Let's see, I know Blazing Lariat is decent. Field Berserk is always fun. I'll consider it. Uh, let's see, Fading Petal. What other, like, newish things do we have that I immediately recognize and would like to use? Because there was the Axe. Axe is okay. Bigger Axe. Oh! Let's grab prickly, prickly Ballet. Let's let's just let that do things. Bubble Blast is good. What's the new one? Severing Slash. Can be charged for a boosted effect. Let's try the Obsidian Splitter. So just hold X is the solution. Let's see, we could full dragon build? I could do a somewhat full dragon build. Uh, let's see. And honestly, I was really liking the Hands of Midas. Just having unlimited gold was actually really handy. Uh, get up here. I could get the Avarice one, but... Yeah, there's, the problem is, like, a full dragon build is only... There's not really much of a full dragon build you can go with. I don't think there's any... I mean, I guess Frostwing would be kind of dragonish. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go dragon theme. Uh, let's see. Flame Strike. Fire Yo-Yo. Flame Cross. 
Any of these particularly dragon e dragon themed? Probably fire. Maybe basic flame strike. Okay, let's switch this for heroic blaze. Yeah, or we can just do dragon arc. Yeah, sure. Somewhat dragon. We're obviously a little bit uh Tiamati, but that's okay. Damage of all movement arcana. Each Earth Arcana owned increases chance to automatically parry an attack. Adds a chance to find chaos gems while exploring the chaos trials. That's a decent one. Okay, let's just go with this. You know, speaking of Gungeon and synergies, oh shoot. We'll make this a new episode.